Our prophet's wet nurse, Halime Isadie. Hazrita Halime was Prophet Muhammad's wet nurse, who took care of him, protected him against any dangers, and made an enormous amount of effort for him to get healthy while growing up. She was also Prophet Muhammad's foster mother for two years. In those times, women who lived in places that had clean air and water did wet nursing to make a living. Therefore, for the people of Mecca, it became a tradition to consign their children to a wet nurse. During one of those famine years, Halime came to Mecca with her husband, her son, and other women. All the women were looking for a kid from a rich family, but Halime could not find one. While she was wandering around in desperation, God sent Prophet Muhammad's grandfather, Abdul Muttalib. That day, no one wanted to take Prophet Muhammad for wet nursing. However, Hazita Halime and her family took him under their protection. They achieved an incredible plentifulness and happiness from the moment she took Prophet Muhammad for wet nursing. Hazita Halima took care of Prophet Muhammad until he was five, and once he was five, she took him back to his mother. Because Hazrat Hadija loved Prophet Muhammad very much, knowing that he valued his wet nurse Hazrat Halima, she called her to their wedding even though she lived 195 kilometers away and gifted her a camel and 40 sheep. Halima and her husband visited Prophet Muhammad and Hazrat Hadija after many years. During those years, she and her family were faced with hardships. According to the narratives, Hazrat Halima and her husband visited Prophet Muhammad after he received prophethood and they became Muslim. Halima was reported as one of the women who came to believe in Prophet Muhammad and was in touch with him throughout his life. Prophet Muhammad was four or five years old and was feeding the sheep with his loving milk siblings. Suddenly, he saw two men across from him. Both were smiling and they looked kind. One had a bowl full of snow. They slowly got closer to him. After holding him, they lied him down on the meadow and opened his stomach, taking his heart out. According to the records, Prophet Muhammad's heart was cleaned with snow and a clot was removed out of his heart. Abdullah, Prophet Muhammad's milk sibling, got so scared after seeing this happen and went running to his parents to tell what he saw while shouting that his brother from Quraysh was killed. Hazita Harima and her husband went out running to where the kids were. They found the Prophet all white and scared. They asked what happened and although he was only four or five, he started to explain. Two men who were wearing white clothes came and lied me down on the grassland. They opened my stomach and took out something that I don't know. Then they cleaned my heart and stomach with the snow they had. Halima Isadia's death date is not known. However, according to the sources, she died either before the conquest of Mecca or she died in Medina before Prophet Muhammad rose to Rifq Ala. Halima's tombstone is in Medina, located in Jannatul Baqi Cemetery. When Prophet Muhammad did not see Hazrat Halima, he would ask people who knew her and ask about her. When he heard about her death, he cried. After her death, Prophet Muhammad offered treats to the people close to him, showing his respect to her. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video.